Alright everyone, hello and uh, I'm Z Train, and today I'm going to show you how to make money with Bitcoin. Um, if you don't know what Bitcoin is, basically you uh, run stuff on your computer, you generate hashes, and by doing that uh, you get paid in a virtual currency, which can then be turned to US dollars and you can make profit from it. Now. Uh, first, go to Bitcoin.org and you're going to download the Windows Executable. Uh, you won't really be running this that much, um, but you need to get some data from it. So, I already have it running. You, when you get your setup, you won't see any of this and it won't say blocks down here. But what's important is this Bitcoin address right here. Copy it, put it in a text document somewhere. Uh, you're going to need that for later. Um, Go ahead, open up the internet. You can close out of the Bitcoin website after you download it. Uh, you won't really need the website anymore. The next website is called uh, deepbit.net. You're going to go here and uh, make a new account, but um, you know what? Before before you make a new account, uh, I'm just going to show you how to download the GPU farmer, which is what's going to make you all the money because CPUs, generally speaking, are slow. Uh, go to the uh, Momochill's GPU miner and click on the top link right here and it will tell you to download this file. Go ahead and put it on your desktop. Shouldn't take that long, it's fairly small. And then go ahead and create an account. Just click on register, go ahead, put in an email and password and uh, it should take you to a screen. Chances are on yours will say zero for both of these but this is the screen it should take you to after you log in. All right, now I'll minimize this and I'll show you uh, this miner. Uh, the miner is called Hawk LBM. Uh, you're going to have to extract this to a, a new folder. I made this video like three times, and every single time something has happened. So hopefully it works this time. Sorry about that. So make a new folder, call it Hawk LBM and you're just going to go ahead and drag everything from this into that folder. Uh, you're going to need 7-zip or WinRAR to open the file you downloaded, but they're both free, so if you don't have it, go ahead and download one of them. Alright, now uh, I'm going to move this somewhere more exact so you all can uh, follow this. So I'll just put it directly in the C drive, as you can see, POC LBM directly in my C drive. Alright, so now to actually run it, we're going to need to create a batch file. So uh, I'm going to pause the video real quick so and change one of these so you don't see the uh, my password. So I will be right back. Alright, I'm back. Uh, here I have Notepad++ open. Use whatever text editor you want. Notepad will work fine. Uh, Alright, so what you're going to do is write start uh, slash d, note that it's higher case and there's no space between that and the next uh, path, and then you're going to uh, put in the folder that POC LBM is located in. In this case, uh, we put it in the C drive, so it's just going to be C colon slash POC LBM, and then POC LBM exe. This is the uh, executable we're going to be running. All right, now frames and work size, uh, those are important, but I won't cover them right now. I'll come back to those. Uh, host, deepbit.net, and port 8332. Uh, those are important, and those will be what you'll be using no matter what. Um, username and password, you're going to have to put in your username and your password that you signed up with on deepbit.net and device equals zero, you're going to add that on the end. If you have another GPU, say you have two graphic cards, uh, then what you'll do is you'll make an extra batch file exactly the same, but you'll have device equals one. And then you'll run both of those, and that way you'll be using both of your graphic cards. Uh, now some NVIDIA users were having problems with their cards. I have ATI, and this works for ATI. And I walked them through it, and we got that all fixed. Uh, if you have a the video card, uh, remove the device equals zero, and you're going to use hyphen D zero, platform one. 
and that will use uh, CUDA on your graphics cards. Um, so once you do that, you're going to go and save as, and you're going to save it as whatever you want dot bat. It's very important that it's dot bat and not a dot text because uh, you're going to be running the batch file, which will start it up, and the text file won't do that. So uh, save it as a batch file. There you go. You have that done. All right. And uh, I don't really need that now. Once you have that done, you're just going to go ahead and start them. Uh, in my case, I have two because I have two graphic cards, which is what I was talking about. And you should just see uh, hashes appear, and then you'll probably, after a while, uh, start to see these things start showing up on top here. Uh, in some cases, it'll say long pull. In some cases, it won't. Whatever, just them run. That's what generates the money. Uh, now there's one website I'd like to uh, talk about as well, and that is Mount Gox. Oh, uh, that's another thing. Once you have them running, uh, log into DeepBit, go here, refresh the page, make sure you see that you're generating hashes. Uh, at first it'll appear really slow because it averages out with the last seven minutes, and obviously if you've been running it for f like five seconds, uh, and you're averaging that with seven minutes of activity, it'll be generally low. But make sure you see some hashes there. That means it's working. All right. The last website is called Mount Gox, and that is a Bitcoin to USD exchange uh, website. Uh, just create an account and sign in. Uh, just as proof that it's real, uh, right here I have two Bitcoins in there, and I have eight dollars from me selling Bitcoins for USD. Now, it's really simple to add funds. You just go to Add Funds, under Add Bitcoins, say for amount I have four Bitcoins or something. Uh, oh, that's another thing. In DeepBit, the coins it says, you have to add them to your account. Uh, you just hit Instant Payment and uh, it'll send them to your account, which is what all these are. Uh, it usually takes about an hour to show up, so don't get concerned. But let's say I want to add four Bitcoins to Mt. Gox. I type in 4, and I hit send bitcoins, and then it will say send 4 bitcoins to this address within 24 hours. You just copy this, you would go into bitcoin and hit send coins, pay 2, paste there, then type in 4. Obviously I don't have 4 bitcoins right now, so I'm not actually going to send it, but yeah, you do that, and that's how you receive bitcoins to your account. And then once you're there, you just go to trade, you can sell your bitcoins. Uh, try to sell them when the price is high, and then if you want to, you can buy them when the price is low and sort of play it like you would a stock market, but it's risky. If you don't want to do that, you don't have to. It just might make you a bit more money. You might lose a bit, but you might make some. And uh, if you do want to, uh, trade them, that is. If you go to trade data, uh, there's last 48 hours and all time and stuff, but this is really bad. If you go to mega chart, right here. Uh, you can um, basically adjust the graph any way you want to show any range. Uh, obviously right then would have been a great time to sell and way down here would have been a great time to buy but whatever. Uh, that's just showing you how to um, view the Bitcoin activity and uh, if you're buying and selling make sure it's on real time because with like five minutes or thirty minutes sometimes you don't see uh, s like a drop that could have happened within uh, you know the last few minutes but on their um, home page right here the asking price and all that that's all real time so that you know uh, go by that as well if you see that they're going for you know a uh, dollar ninety cents on the mega chart and it only says you're going for a dollar here uh, it might be a, a good time to refresh the page and make sure what you're seeing is up to date. Um, that's pretty much uh, the whole entire video. Uh, good luck and hope you guys make some money. Uh, I know it's not really all that much. Ooh, ten dollars. Well, I made that in four days. Uh, but hey, that's money I'm making while I'm out doing stuff and I'm not using my computer. So uh, getting four dollars and or 
ten dollars in four days is a lot better than getting absolutely nothing in four days. So, all right, that's my video. Uh, if you have any questions, message me on Raise the World. If you don't have an account there, I highly suggest you make one. Or you can reply to this YouTube video, but just as a general warning, I'm not on YouTube that much, uh, and I might not see it. All right, well, have a good day, and like I said, any questions, feel free to ask. Goodbye.